My name is Fatim and welcome back to Fatim Ali's Kitchen. How are you all today? I hope you're all having a great time. I'm fine too. Thank you all so much for coming back to Fatim Ali's Kitchen. I appreciate you all. So today in Fatim Ali's Kitchen, we have got you a very quick, simple, basic recipe that can take no time to make and it's all going to be basic and taste delicious too, okay? So we've got you fish here, guys. We're going to use this lovely fish that we've cleaned and lined them all as you can see here and a sea brim that's what we're going to be using and we are going to be making it with yam and plantain you will not miss out on anything because we will be showing you step by step what we are going to do with this yam plantain and fish okay guys so now let's jump into it so guys First, we are going to make a salsa sauce for this recipe. Today, we're going to use less oil. Okay, so we make the salsa sauce first. put that here then we jump onto our cucumber and do the same thing exactly tomatoes Right, we're going to jump onto our spring onions now. Right. And then we add our peppers in. It's all about color, guys. Look at all them beautiful colors lining up together. Two here. Our ball is getting heavier. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be able to hold everything. I think it should be. Now we're going to add some coriander leaves in. Then we add that on. Look at that. So we bring that to the top. Then we add some oil in. Bit of spice, chili. That's optional. Not too much. That's it. Some black pepper. And some salt. With loads of lemon juice or lime. Then we use our tongue to mix it all together. Guys, look at that color. So make sure you mix it all thoroughly well. And then we clean fill it and set it in the fridge. And then we move on to the others. So guys, our salsa sauce is all set in the fridge waiting. Okay, now we're going to jump onto our plantain. This is plantain. It looks like a banana and it looks like a raw banana. <laughs> Basically, that's how I describe it when I'm describing plantain I call it as a raw banana and then I just put a line on it to try and peel it because the skin is a little bit tough guys 
okay but this is how you peel it and that's how it looks you know it's not cooked yet you have to cook it so I'm going to slice it right, so we're gonna set that on here and then we will be frying it later exactly the same thing to the other one that also goes on the side and finally we're going to jump on our yam as you can see I just give it a wash because it's a little bit dark so this is yam and yam is a root veg it's exactly the same as cassava if you've never seen cassava before it's not no different to yam so this is yam and then I'm gonna cut it up it's got a skin on at the moment so I'm gonna cut it up if I can nice and soft inside this is how it looks okay it's a root veg and it grows on the ground i think that's why it's so dark like it's it's like it's got the mud on it so i'm gonna kind of cut them like this and then i'm gonna show you how to peel it the same thing just put a line there and just be careful and be gentle with it and just follow the line if you can okay you just follow the line see how dark it's coming this white yam so i'm gonna wash it again but i'll show you another way if you are not comfortable with holding it in your hand and trying to peel it so i'll show you another way that you can do so that you don't hurt yourself i will say just put it flat and then just gently peel it just like that it's exactly the same thing and nobody will get hurt remember we are trying to learn how to cook and how to make whatever we're making without anyone getting hurt in it okay so this is how it is even better and cleaner than the other one okay so that's what we're gonna be doing with these ones as well so guys we went on and washed our yam right so we're gonna cut our yam into four pieces not too small not too big just like so and we are going to be putting them in this water here and we will be boiling them okay so in goes the yam in the water with a little pinch of salt and we are going to be boiling the yam okay so guys we've got our pan on and we've added some oil in it vegetable oil we're going to go on and fry this plantain Right, let's turn these plantains over. Right, this plantain is done, so I'm coming to take them out. That goes in here and set on the side. All right, guys, the final steps of the kitchen is coming in. We are coming to fry the fish. So, guys, I have torn the gas down for the yam. And I also want to show you something here. So with yam, if you want to know that your yam is thoroughly done, it's cooked, you just need a fork and stab it in the yam, just like that. See? If the, if the fork goes through, did you see guys, this one's breaking already? So if the fork goes through the yam, you know that your yam is absolutely done. So this yam is done now because the fork has gone through it. So we're going to be draining it, take the water out, and then we wait for the fish to be ready, okay guys? Our fish needs turning, so we're going to turn them over. So guys, the fish is also done. Our final fish is ready frying. We're coming to take it out. And our yam is done. Already nice and drained. So everything is done here in the kitchen. We are going to plate up now, guys. So guys, this is one simple easy meal. Ready 
which I had struggling so much in the kitchen and it's smelling so good and it tastes lovely okay so like I said we didn't use too much oil today in the kitchen and it's as healthy as you can think of and I hope you enjoyed watching it while we make it for you if you do you know what to do as always click the like and if you're new to our channel subscribe and hit the notification bell right over here so that you don't miss out on contents when we post a new video you'll be the first to be notified and also thank you all so much for tuning in to Fatim Alu's Kitchen I appreciate you all and um, don't forget to join our channel membership as well to join this team and love this team and support us even more so come and enjoy this lovely yam plantain and fish with that salsa sauce with us you're all invited until we come on you again soon thank you and goodbye